Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everybody, today we are gonna grow a pineapple from a pineapple. So what you need to do is get yourself a pineapple, organic one is best, so it doesn't have any spray on it. And look for one that has a healthy green center, like this, has pretty good healthy leaves in it. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so all you have to do is cut off the pineapple right at the crown. Okay, now you're going to remove these leaves, as many from the bottom as you can. This will help it to grow faster and kind of like a cutting. Um, it's, you're exposing the roots here. So you want to have as less leaves on the top causing more strain on the root okay um this is how much we have left now from this bottom part here it's gonna start making roots so you want to have not too much top to give it strain just a little bit fine and you have enough exposed here that it could work on this part without having to worry about the leaves. And then all you have to do is put it in a cup of water. I have a dark cup to kind of help to promote the roots to grow. You know, in the soil it's dark, so a dark cup would be best. And there you go. You can put it in a hot window seal if you have that, or you could place the cup on a a heating pad to make it warm. I'm gonna put mine in a cooler with a heat lamp in there that's not very hot just to keep the whole environment kind of warm and greenhouse like and then we're gonna check on it and it should be growing some roots within a one to two weeks and it'll be ready for planting. Okay here is my pineapple can't see much change in the leaves but it all still looks nice and green I always say I left this in here for a couple of months because I started this when it was still kind of cool outside I don't know it's the end of May now and I put it in at least a month ago but uh you can see now it has lots of roots it's doing great so I uh, can see up on the top the nose are getting thick see that there's the big roots down here and then it has some little nodes right there so it looks perfect this is what you want if it didn't root yet for you just let it sit longer in the water sometimes the uh, temperature is not hot enough so as soon as it gets hot enough I have mine in the greenhouse so of course it's getting nice and hot now it's about June so it's getting up to 80 something so it's really happy so it's doing good so we're going to take this now and we're going to plant it in a really big pot. So these get humongous. So I have right here this uh, big pot. It's going to get probably six feet around. So this might not even be big enough to start with. But don't be afraid of planting it in a big space. If you can do it outside, that's probably better. But if you would need to watch it in a pot like I do, then go ahead and do it like this. And tap it in there. Good job. Okay, now we need to water it. Where's my water bucket? Oh, it's up here. Okay, do some. Yeah, carefully. I water well. Okay, and that's it. Don't expect to have a pineapple anytime soon. <laughs> These things take forever to grow. Kind of compare it to a fruit tree. 
because by the time it's big enough to do something, which will be minimum of one year, then you might get a fruit. And then you might get that pineapple. Sometimes it takes up to two years. It needs to be in a good temperature, maybe 70 or hotter, as much as you can keep the temperature stable at the hotter degrees, and it'll grow better for you. It should get at least six foot around, tall and wide, and it'll bear uh, fruit after about seven months minimum to two years. So this is just an experiment. And I like pineapple, so I want to see how well it might grow for me. So if you're gonna try this, it, it does work, but you have to be very patient with pineapple. So this one's very healthy growing. It has good leaves on it. Alright, like, subscribe. Bye.